Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Today we're going to discuss subtopic 7.4 and 7.7 waves and its applications. This discussion will be conducted in two languages. Here are some known and tips about this subtopic. Parameters of waves such as wavelength, period, frequency, speed of wave, angular velocity, wave number, amplitude, particles displacement, velocity, and also acceleration. Make sure you know uh, how to determine or what is the equation involved for all these parameters. And then after that, we go to differences between progressive and stationary wave. First, we uh, talk about uh, movement, and then after that, amplitude, and then about the phase ataupun angle and then vibration and then what causes it and last one about the transmission of energy there are three cases of application of stationary wave in our syllabus first string and then close pipe and the last one is open pipe so make sure you know all the equation involved and also the very important thing is about harmonic or n so make sure uh, you know that close for close pipe only odd number exists okay and the last one doppler effect so we are using a uh, method os o stand for observers s stand for uh, source and then the equation will be F O O S O S like this, okay? And then we add up V plus minus plus minus and then multiply. So this is the general equation for Doppler effect. Make sure whenever you want to settle a question regarding Doppler effect, use method O S. Okay, we look at the first question about wave. A sinusoidal traveling transverse string wave has amplitude. So this is a amplitude wavelength. Uh, the symbol of wavelength and travels at 6 meter per second so what is this this is v speed of wave and then along positive x axis so meaning that dia menuju ke kanan uh, so kanan positive x then what are the period and the frequency and also the wave number so soalan pertama ask us to determine period so macam mana kita boleh dapat period uh, so from the equation of speed of wave v equal to f lambda v is 6 and then f uh, lambda will be 1.2 then f will be 5 hertz and after we get the f so the period t equal to 1 over f which is uh, 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2 second okay question number two Kita tanya kita, what is angular frequency omega? So, you have two options. Whether you use 2 pi f ataupun 2 pi tanah. 2 pi over t. So, either one lah. Mana-mana. So, medium pakai 2 pi times f5. So, dapat 10 pi radian per second. And the third one is uh, wave number. So, wave number is k. K equal to 2 pi per lambda. What is wave number? How many wave in uh, per meter okay so 2 pi divided by lambda 1.2 then you get 1.67 pi per meter okay question b write general expression for the wave function so what is the general one y equal to a sine omega t minus kx y minus so minus here means to the right ke kanan Okay, kalau ke kiri, positif. Okay, so what is your A? 2. And then sign omega 10 pi T minus K is 1.67 pi X. Like this. And then close bracket where Y in CM, X in meter and T in second. Okay. That's it for this question. Okay, the second question. Given the equation of progressive wave, y equal to 10 sine 20 pi t minus pi x and another one but with the plus sign here. So, this one is negative and then that one is positive where y and x are in cm. Write an expression if both waves are superimposed. So, superimposed mean overlap meaning that from progressive to progressive becomes standing wave so what is the general equation for standing wave so standing wave y equal to 2a cos kx sine omega t so we substitute the value 
So, 2 what is A? A is 10. So, medium dapat dekat sini. A sin omega t minus kx. Okay. So, cos k. What is k? K is pi x. And then sin what is omega? 20 pi t. Ha, that's it. So, nanti dapat jawapan 20 cos pi x sin 20 pi t where uh, x and y are in cm t in second. That's it. Itu sahaja. The third question is about standing wave lagi. So, given the equation for stationary wave. So, the other name for stationary wave is standing wave. So, this is the function. So, what we do, we compare y equal to 2a and then sin omega t cos kx. Uh, so, kalau kita dampak bentuk ni, bukan macam bentuk yang selalu kita apa uh, tulis. So, kita boleh je. Uh, rearrange balik so equal to 3 cos 0.15x sin 100 pi t uh, susun balik semula ok pun tak apa tak ada masalah sama je sebab dia dah harapkan ok soalan dia kata where y and x are in cm determine the 3 position so keyword kat sini adalah 3 position position tu simbol dia adalah x dia nak kita cari 3 bilangan x when not and anti not happen dengan syarat x must be greater than 0 okay so konsepnya so when not happen meaning that there is no uh, vibration of particle so meaning that y equal to 0 so we write the equation for amplitude so what is the equation for amplitude 3 cos 0 0.1 pi x that's it ini sahaja Okay, and then Y tu kita ganti dengan 0, so 3 cos 0.1 pi X and then ni bawa sebelah dapatlah kosong. So, kosong sama dengan cos 0.1 pi X and then bawa sebelah pula cos. So, cos negatif 1 kosong sama dengan 0.1 pi X and then cos berapa dapat kosong? Cos 90 degree pi per 2 Jangan lupa kita punya SI unit adalah radian So pi per 2 3 per 2 pi 5 per 2 pi Dot 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 Okay equal to 0.1 pi x So what we gonna do with pi Cancel 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 And then medium nak x So therefore x equal to Medium dapat 5 15 25 Dot 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 cm So this these are the position of node Y. Kalau anti node pula, uh, anti node. So anti node, apa konsep dia? Y equal to tambah tolak 3, 3 cm kan? Uh, so this is the concept for anti node. So write the equation for amplitude. So standing wave tak sama eh, amplitude dengan progressive wave. Kalau progressive wave, amplitude is A. Kalau standing wave, amplitude dia adalah A cos kx. Okay? So 3 cos. 0.1 pi x and then y tu medium ganti dengan tambah tolak 3 equal to 3 cos 0.1 pi x medium bawa sebelah tambah tolak 1 equal to cos 0.1 pi x and then cos berapa sama dengan plus minus 1 equal to 0.1 pi x bila medium tengok balik uh, kalau tak pun you all hafal je kalau untuk anti node mesti start dengan pi dan 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi ah, ok, terus hafal pun tak apalah so 0.1 pi x so what we gonna do with pi of course lah kita cancel, cancel, cancel cancel, and then at the end of the day your x is uh, bukan is lah kan ah, sebab dia nak 3, so 0 10, 20, 30 so your jawapan sepatutnya tak boleh sama dengan note lah ok, so x equal to 0 tak boleh ambil sebab dalam soalan dia punya syarat x must be more than zero so cannot be included lah Aha, tak boleh masukkan jangan masukkan ok hmm, don't include ok so where, what, uh, where is the position so jawapan ni lah 10, 20, 30 cm so for question number 4 a stream of mass 240 gram so this is m and then length this is l has one is end fixed to a wall and the other end is forced to vibrate transversely with frequency so this is f and then if the string is stretched 
so this is the tension calculate the velocity and wavelength of the wave produced so soalan nak velocity of the string so v equal to equation set t over mu which is mu is mass per unit length therefore your equation is t adalah 140 bahagi dengan mass 0.24 of course lah kita kena tukar dalam SI unit and then length is 2 meter then what do we get for V 34.16 meter per second what is this V? V of the string and the last one is wavelength of the wave produced so V equal to F lambda so 34.16 equal to F50 given in the question and then lambda so lambda will be 0.68 meter okay okay calculate the fundamental frequency so fundamental frequency is f1 uh, and the third harmonic frequency so third harmonic is n equal to 3 uh, for closed tube and then so alam b the second harmonic so second harmonic is n equal to 2 frequency okay so soalan nombor uh, soalan nombor 5 ni basically adalah application of standing wave ada tiga cases string closed pipe and then uh, open pipe ataupun closed tube ataupun open tube okay so soalan 5a dulu so 5a ni basically ada dua question dia nak fundamental frequency closed tube so macam mana rupa dia so kita lukis lah tube kita close minyak soalnya satu je yang close so whenever we draw uh, the uh, standing wave tu kita kena label so the n a n a n so this is diagram for fundamental frequency f1 equal to n b over 4 l the equation your n should be 1 okay and then darab dengan 340 so v is given in the question per 4 what is l l is 0.2 then what do you get 425 hertz Okay, soalan berikutnya dia kata Third harmonic punya frekuensi So, what is third harmonic? So, kalau third harmonic, since this is closed tube Closed tube dia tak ada, even number dia ada odd saja. So, 1, 3, 5, 7 So, 3 tu sepatutnya adalah uh, Second, uh, first overtone So, first overtone rupa dia adalah uh, So, ni first floor And then ground floor hmm. Okay. Ah, lukis tu kena cantik lah Jangan lukis macam ni punya So anti not, anti not, anti not. Ah, Ada dua ya atas bawah kena label And then So F3 will be 3 F1 ah, Medium boleh tak kita nak guna equation NV over 4L Boleh tak ada masalah sama je So 3 kali dengan 4 to 5 And then you should get 1, 2, 7, 5 hertz So this is uh, Frekuensi untuk first floor Okay, uh, third harmonic is equivalent to first floor. Okay, so alan B. The second harmonic frequency. So second harmonic untuk open tube. So second harmonic tu sama juga untuk first floor. So uh, this is like this. Uh, okay. Okay, gambar kena cantik lah eh. So this is A N. Wajib eh label wajib. Label wajib. Okay, so equation dia slightly different from closed tube and V over uh, uh, 2L. Okay, so F dia akan jadi F2 lah. Ha, sebab first floor kan. So N will be 2 darab dengan 340 per 2L is 0.2. Then you get 1700 hertz. Okay. So the last question is about double effect. So to all the the frequency of ambulance siren is 600 hertz. So this is FS frequency of source. What is frequency hertz? So frequency hertz mesti lah by observer. Okay, so observer tu siapa? Pedestrian tu. So pedestrian tu, ah dalam you all punya syllabus mesti satu stay, satu bergerak. Okay, so maksudnya observer tu tidak bergerak. Yang bergerak adalah ambulance sebab bawah ni. Dia bagi tahu ambulance moves away dengan speed 30 from uh, that girl tu okay soalan B tu pula kalau ambulance approaches her dengan speed 30 juga okay so dia suruh 
kita kira berapakah frekuensi yang didengari oleh budak perempuan tu. Okay, let's see. Uh, o, S, plus, minus, plus should be to the right. Uh, minus tu lah kiri kan. Okay, letak pen kita bawah uh, yang bergerak. So, yang bergerak adalah ambulance. So, ambulance adalah source. Dia moves away. So, away ke kanan. Sebab lah kiri tu ada observer kan. So, tandaan dia sepatutnya adalah positif. So, your equation nanti uh, pakai positif. So, O, S. Ingat tu. So, O, observer tak ada. So, yang ni ada B je. So, B. Bawah ni medium nak tambah ke tolak? Letak tambah. B, S. Okay. Uh, equation tu, kita boleh tengok dekat list of equation nanti dalam PSPM. Dia beri. Okay. So, kita gantikan 330 divide by 330 tambah 30 darab dengan frekuensi of ambulance 600 and you get 550 hertz iaitu kurang lain daripada ku, kurang daripada yang asal asal tu 600 kalau ambulance tu pergi daripada kita daripada budak perempuan tu budak perempuan tu dengar lagi slow bunyi dia ok so untuk B pula OS tambah tolak letak pen bawah S and then dia akan pergi ke kiri so tandaan dia medium dapat negatif so the equation O S yang bawah ni B tolak B S ah, macam ni ok so gantikan 330 330 tolak 30 darab dengan 600 ah, kali ni berapa pula budak tu dengar kalau ambulans menghampiri dia sepatutnya mesti more than 600 So, bila medium kira, medium dapat 660 hertz. Ha, maksudnya, logik lah. Bila ambulans menghampiri, kita dengar lebih kuat. Kalau ambulans tu jauh, kita dengar perlahan. I think that's a wrap for today. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.